Hello Power and Water Painters and welcome back to another video. This is a quick but handy little tip for filtering items by SharePoint items by date in Power Automate. Now I've got this list here of invoices and as we can see there is a date column. I think there's about 3,000 items in this list. Um, now when you do a get items action you can do an OData filter query like this. My date field is just called date, and I'm doing a greater than 2015-0101 to add to less than 2015-1231. And that works fine. <clears throat> but what about if I wanted to get every item where the month was, say, February, or the day was the 10th day of the month? Well. OData has a way to do that by using these additional functions here, month, year, day, hour, etc, etc. Except it doesn't work properly in Power Automate, or doesn't work properly through the SharePoint Get Items API. So if I run this, you'll see that that Get Items query is absolutely fine with that OData query on it. If I just move this below this terminate and put it, put this one here, get items, oh data not working. If I just put day date, that's my column, and I want to use the day function equal to 10 and test that. We can just see that it comes up and says the query is not valid, but it is actually a valid query. So is there any workaround for this? I sort of came across this when I was doing a flow about how to create birthday reminders. So let's get rid of that. And now let's put this day function up here. Now to do this, this is the SharePoint action send a HTTP request to SharePoint. And instead of using the normal endpoint, I'm using this listData.svc and then putting this dollar filter equals day, date, equal to 10. So that's going to get everything where it is the 10th day of the month. Now, obviously, normally this would be provided by some other dynamic content or an expression, but let's just try that out. And you can see that works fine. So if I edit this flow again now, I'm going to do that smaller and I'll do month, year and combined. So let's have a look at them all. Exactly the same query apart from I've substituted month, day for month. This one I've done year date equals 2017 and on this combined one I've just joined them all together. The date, the month is equal to two, the day is equal to 20, and the year is equal to 2021. This is especially useful if you need to filter a list of dates on a very large list because it's much quicker and returns returns a lot, it returns exactly the data that you want to save you then having to do filter queries afterwards. So we can see here, let's have a look at combined. If we have a look at the results, this has come back with just one result. There's only one that has that day, month, and year. And then if we have a look at the other ones, I'm not going to look at year because there'll be so many, but let's look at day, show the raw outputs. And we can see there's lots, lots of entries there. <clears throat> so that is a really quick and easy way of expanding the capabilities of the OData filter queries in SharePoint to make the flows a bit more simple to save you having to do filter queries or conditions. Let's just go back and have a look at these functions, these date functions in the OData specification, all of which seem to work um, in, the, in this endpoint, which is this list data SVC. So give it a go, see how you get on, and let me know in the comments if you need any help. Cheers. Bye-bye.